Thanks, bro. You guys, this is a super cute little thoroughbred Arabian cross mare. She's probably, what, 14, 3, 15 hands. We'll stick her because I, I really don't want to presume because I think that she's, I think she's probably right around 15 hands. Um, the note that came with her said that they had bred her um, to be a hunter jumper and that she's been in the pasture for three years not ridden, but she had had 90 days of training. She had 90 days of training as a three-year-old. She's six this year and she's had three years in the pasture. But let me tell you guys something. She saddled up really, really nicely, really nicely. She has ridden off soft. This is a working student or a little barn that needs a lesson horse's dream. Now her feet are in kind of crappy condition. Obviously that can be repaired with just a little bit of growth and trimming. Um, her right hind foot has a big chunk out of it. Nothing I don't think that won't grow out, but I just want to call attention that the right hind foot does have a big piece of foot missing. The mare is six years old. She had 90 days of professional training when she was three. For three years, she's done nothing. And again, she is... You want me to hold your jacket, baby? Again, she has um, just been off for three years. So if you have a lesson facility and you're looking for a nice, quiet young mare that your working students can work on maybe a rehabilitation project so you can kind of teach um you know just about proper food and what you know what floating one's teeth and trimming their feet can do this is a really good candidate to go into a situation where you have a really nice facility and you have a project that you could turn into a high-end maybe lesson horse or even a resale project and just teach your students uh, just the value of seeing beyond, you know, the exterior. Can you imagine her with 150 pounds on her, her feet trimmed, um, her teeth floated? One thing about it, your students aren't going to have to worry about being bucked off or run off with or any of that. She wants to be soft and she wants to be kind. She could maybe even be a play day pony for the right person, but I do want to call attention to the fact that her feet are very overgrown. The right one has a piece that's broke off a little into the quick, the right hind. Um, and all of that is repairable, just will take a little time. So don't, don't get discouraged if you're like, I don't know. I mean, her feet will definitely repair. And she looks really good from the side right there. You can't really tell. But she definitely is poor along her top line. She's A-framed. Um, and when you take the saddle off, we can see her back. So she's in not good shape. And um, we bring her here real quick, Tylen, so we can see. I would like for you all to see her tell. It definitely reflects that she's been in somebody's pasture for three years. Hi, sweet girl. Um, so she's been in the pasture. Hang on, sweet girl. I don't know if she kicks. So her tail is just dreads, which is fine. I mean, they'll be not too hard to work out, I hope. Hold on, Rylan. I'm between her and the mare, so I'm not going to. So that reflects that she's been out, but I do want you guys to see that her feet are grossly overgrown, um, starting to break off, unfortunately. Get her to step this one up. That way you guys can see, you know, the back one, the right hind has a pretty big chunk out of it. But she's just a really super, super quiet mare. Um, I tell people all the time, I think that you can shop the kill pen and find the best horses that you could ever find. You just have to remember, though, that um, you're going to have to put a little TLC into them. And as somebody who filters through kill pen horses, I feel like the least we can do is to evaluate them to make sure you're buying a horse that's not going to injure you. Um, we obviously can't guarantee much, but she definitely seems that working students or young riders could definitely um, work with her for the next 60 or 90 days, and then she probably could work for a little more of an intermediate rider because her demeanor is so quiet. I mean, look how soft she is in the face. I mean, she's just wanting to just really be soft, soft, soft. And she's wanting to be very quiet, very, very quiet. And I love that. He loped her around and she's just backed right off onto a loose rein. So I think, it, you know what? If you trail ride and you like these little Arabian crosses, she would be perfect because 
They can go all day. They always have the best work ethics, you know, and I love that. I love a horse with a fantastic work ethic and look how nice her natural headset is. This is not a horse that's had a lot of work with their headset and it's fabulous. Tylen, will you just lope her right here around me one more time and let them see. She picks up her um, lope really nice without a struggle and I like that too. So one thing I like about her, especially maybe for a lesson facility is right here when he asks her to trot, she does it nice. She has a nice still, nice low headset and that lope that she picks up is not a lope where she's trying to pitch a fit. She doesn't buck out. She just wants to be really soft. And you can tell that she'll have a good work ethic. And she hits the ground really sound structurally. I do wish the foot was not broke off, but that's a here nor there. It'll grow out and that'll go away. So I'm not I'm not overly concerned with the, the right hind. I think that's, look how soft she's trying to be, you guys. This is just a fantastic young six-year-old mare. She's got great facial expressions, you know, just a lot of kind, soft expression in the face. Um, not overly forward, but perfect, I think, for working students, younger riders that need a project, soft, kind, th 90 days of professional training, three years in the pasture, and has just rode off fantastic. You guys, she's under $2,000. She's 1950. You cannot shop the internet. You will, what does Jacob say? You can drive new tires off a brand new truck trying to find... Yeah, I love when he says that. I Every time he says that, I get so tickled. I'm like, are you a car salesman or a horse salesman? Yeah, I love it. You've been to enough sales when you start having all those adages in your brain, you know? Yeah, I love that. Yeah, I love it. I really love the other day, some guy was like, where'd this one come from? And an old man goes, out of Arkansas in a trailer. And I was like, oh, that's a horse trader for you, right? <laughs> but seriously, you guys, I really, really like her. And I know that these young, really sweet temperament horses like this, and especially with her being crossed like that, she's always gonna just have a really good, um, just, just good value. I know that these little crossbreds like this, a little thoroughbred Arabian cross is gonna have some value because she's always gonna have some class to her. She's always gonna be something that you can easily market, especially with a little more training. So, all right, you guys, this is a fantastic six-year-old and she's just soft. She would be awesome for a lesson program. Hi, Mama. She said, you bumped me, you booped my snoot. just easy super easy little mare and just soft perfect perfect horse for someone's lesson program all right you guys this is tag i already what is it seven what 60 oh 765 and she is a six-year-old arabian thoroughbred so she's just a little arabian cross thoroughbred and i see that in her like, I think that's right. You know, every once in a while we get some and I'm like, I don't see the Arabian. I don't see the thoroughbred, but I do see it. She definitely has the perfect combination. Good neck, good head, very keen eyes and ears, very good expressions under saddle. Really an eye, I think she's got a lot of eye appeal. And I think fed up in an English barn where she looks fantastic, she would be worth some money. Or if you trail ride, I sure don't think you'll be disappointed because she sure seems soft and docile. All right, you guys, super nice little mare. On to the next one.